I love it now, except the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Mensura is such a nice place. The health health system is very good here, uh, and people are very nice. It's the place, uh, especially we like Saint Paul. I like Saint Paul uh, mm. because it's culturally diverse. And once you go to University Avenue, you get thousands of different restaurants. They mm -hmm. talk about Fasika and Mai Thai and all sort of restaurants. You can eat uh, food from different parts of the world, Moroccan food, Egyptian food, Hmong food and all. I've, I've never lived in a, in a city like this where you can get food from all around the world. And, um, you know, I love the flea markets here, mm -hmm. farmer's market. That's so, the best part, I think. Yeah. You know, I kind of feel like, you know, values and cultures inbuilt in people's life. I feel like refugee is a kind of added value in my life. Because I was a former refugee, I'm a better advocate for New York refugees. I'm a better advocate for 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 people who are old people who are vulnerable. weak and vulnerable because i feel like i was in their shoes one day so i i don't want to take it as a negative tone yes it was a part of our life but i'm building on it as my own value in my life a part that will never fade away i was a refugee i am i'm american now but i will always remember deep in my heart i had nothing and i have everything now but because Everybody can have something if they work and nobody can be a refugee forever in life. Yeah. I still consider, like, I don't know if I've ever called myself a former refugee. Um, and I didn't even live in the refugee camps, but I grew up knowing that I was a refugee all throughout. So it's become very much entrenched in my identity. Um, so I will continue to think of myself as a refugee. Um, I, I am American. But somebody, like, my life has come this far because my country decided to keep